With more people cooking at home, must-have kitchen tools are literally flying off the shelves. So I wanted to find out what the next trendy products would be, so I talked to Scott McPhee from Culinary Essentials in Ballard. Check it out. So one of my favorite new products that we're selling through like hotcakes, um, it's this black cube. It's a hybrid nonstick, which means you're basically cooking on a full stainless surface. I don't know if you can see the texture on here. It's like a hexagon. Oh yeah, it's like flowers. It's like flowers, yeah. What they've done is they've etched into it, beautiful German engineering. They've etched into it this intricate pattern so that the nonstick sits below the, the stainless surface. What that means is when you're cooking chicken, you're cooking it, cooking it just on the stainless. It browns beautifully, vegetables brown beautifully, but there's enough surround of nonstick that it's not gonna stick. It's gonna cook. Wow. Eggs cook beautifully. Pancakes cook beautifully. It cleans up gorgeous. You can you can sear a steak and then shove it in the oven to finish it if you want to. And how um, much are these pans in general? So the, the the black cube runs from thirty nine dollars to one hundred and twenty nine. This little they call it the try me pan. It's eight inches, thirty nine dollars. It's the perfect thing to try to see if you like the surface. Then come back and talk to me about more. Um, the other thing, Scott, that I've been seeing, literally jamming up my Instagram feed, is everyone is making sourdough bread now. Everybody and their mother. So I got, I got to tell you, when we reopened, that was the first thing that I had to restock. Um, bread making stuff, and specifically uh, these brat forms. Brat form, okay. It's a bread proofing basket. It's meant for your second proof. So you do the first thing, you need it. Um, you let it prove a little bit, knead it again, put it in here. Um, and it, it, the shape of it just forms the beautiful loaf. We can do rustic breads all we want, but if you want that beautiful loaf, um, you can season the inside with rice flour and it gets those nice rings on the outside. It takes That's a little bit of practice, but I think it saves a ton of time and it really portions the, the, the doughs that you're using. We've got these in rounds. And it's helpful and it makes it, it makes it more next level and then you can give it to neighbors and stuff. Um, yeah. That's always sharing food right now because of the pandemic. But in the holiday, coming to holidays, there, there are more um, formal variations with decorations. We, we also sell the, uh, the great meat, the little um, razor that's stuck on, a, stuck on a stick where you can oh, yeah. score it and really make some nice patterns into it too. Ooh, so yeah, th this is I, a wonderful add on for anyone who's already I, baking. I love that, I love that. It's very cool. And um, also we're elevating things and we're a little bougie when it comes to coffee in Seattle and you have like a bougie, cool coffee thing. Will you show us? Yeah, I can't sell drip coffee makers anymore. It's just not a thing in <laughs> Seattle. Um, Pour overs, French press, AeroPress, um, lots of versions of pour overs. But I had to tell you, the one that I'm really loving right now, it's this beautiful line. I only have a couple of pieces right now, but this is from Hario. It is a Ooh. Japanese style. This is glass and plastic. They do lots of glass. Um, they have a full set. I'm out of the the um, the pot, but with this same sort of bulbous, gentle, really gorgeous art piece kind of stuff. Not, su not super expensive. This one I think is $19.99. What? You can get the sets for up to $60. Um, and they go up from there. They also do a, a individual hand grinder, which is just super neat. So are you. I just, their design is, look at the, the spiral is just. It is, that is a beautiful piece to have out. And, and you said $19.99 about fell off my chair. That's exactly. It's that, and this is just because it's one of their basics, but they go up from there. And it's, a, it's a really good line. We carried it years ago. They kind of lost their way, but they've been really innovating in terms of the styles and the, yeah, the design nature of, of what, yeah. what they do. And I really love them. I love that. I love that. Well, let's go from coffee to cocktails because that's literally my life right now. <laughs> cocktails, right? Cocktails. So, yeah. So uh, in the before times, wine was, our, was one of our top sectors. Mm -hmm. Cocktails have taken that over completely um, from the, lar the large ice cubes, the, the whiskey rocks, different kinds of glasses, um, and, and mixologists who wanted to buy all the cocktail shakers. It actually took a customer to turn me on to something which I had totally forgotten about. And it is the Boston Shaker. I love it. 
So you know when you make your sh when you're shaking a cocktail and the top yeah. freezes and you're like banging it on the yes. so these are these are actually tin. They're a, they're a little thinner and a little curved. So when you put these together, it forms the seal. It shakes. It's not going to freeze. Genius. So you can either you can either pour it this way, or you get one of these handy dandy guys to yeah. do a full pour and strain. Um, I'll be honest, I tried to get these back in June. They were out of stock until this month, so I'm finally restocked. Okay. Barware is hard to come by. <laughs> well, I mean, Every now we have much more time to make, you know, craft cocktails and whatnot. Everyone's doing I'm, I'm looking for some other things. I'm looking for suggestions. When customers come in, if they say, hey, I want to do a smoked whiskey, I can find a smoked whiskey set. And but you can trust that you know your review is you and what you've experienced, which I love. Um, I know, also, I know my vendors and they, they're not, they're not going to give me some piece of crap. Exactly. And you know what else I love about everything that you've shown us, everything in your store is it's kind of taking a step back, going a little bit old school. And my favorite thing you're going to show us is this fondue pot because my parents used to do fondue all the time. So, I mean, this whole motion, everything is new again. And again, I'll go back to these, the young professionals living in Ballard who have tiny kitchens because they were built assuming everyone would eat, eat out. Right. They're having to, they're having to backtrack. Um, and just in the last six months, I've gotten a bunch of requests for fondue pots. This is one from Swiss Mar. This one runs about eighty dollars. Um, it it does come with the, the gel flame pack. But what's great about this is this is the ultimate. If you're going to do small entertaining at home, everyone gets their own food. They get their own fork, and you can. St it's a fabulous time. So um, it's it's also safe. <laughs> It's safe. You you can you can have just two people over, and you know everyone place makes their own plate. They cook their own food, and it's it's, it's the semblance of safeness in a small place. And I think it's it's coming back. I mean, who doesn't love melted cheese with butter dumped in it? And chocolate, melted chocolate. So many great ideas, and it's not overwhelming because you have it all laid out. So thank you so much, Scott. You're welcome. If if I could add one one last thing, because yeah. because we are all cooks and chefs during this time period, especially along Ballard Avenue, we are all very aware of food insecurity issues. So if you're looking for a gift for for a, a cook or a chef who just doesn't know what they need, make a donation to your local food bank. It helps us. It helps them. It won't support us directly, but it will help our community survive. Isn't that a great idea? Hashtag home team harvest. All right, now that we've shown you all the latest kitchen tools, do you know if you have the space to store them? Coming up next, we're going to talk to the pros at Shelf Genie of Seattle to see how they can help you stay organized and build a better kitchen. And later on the show, I'm not going to show you my messy shelves. Oh, no, no. But I will share the stories behind my 10, yes, I said 10, Christmas trees. We'll be right back.